let's get started so here I'm using my Ruby Kisses eye primer so I'm gonna go ahead and take this wand here and I'm gonna apply the primer all over my eyelids I want to make sure my eyeshadow sticks throughout the day and you know there's no cracks or anything like that I'm just taking my ring finger and making sure everything is on there correctly. Now I'm taking my Naked palette, amazing palette by the way, I'm taking Virgin here. Virgin is a really nice color, perfect for the eyebrow bone and also to add as a base here like I'm doing on my eyelid. I'm just making sure everything is on there right and getting the whole eyelid. Now I'm going to start by using Naked. This is again from the Naked palette. All eyeshadows I will be using are from the Naked palette. The first one I came out. I'm just adding some shadow. Now I'm going to be taking this Kat Von D Trio Eyeliners. Uh, amazing eyeliners. It comes in Sinner, Poetica, and Saint. Now, these eyeliners give you the option to create a very thin eyeliner look, thick or a medium, you know, um, size eyeliner uh, look. Now I'm taking Saint, which is uh, much of a thinner felt tip, as you can see. So I'm going to start off by creating the sh the the width and the um, shape of this uh, eyeliner to my eyes here so I'm just kind of um, drawing on and then like a coloring book you want to start filling in coloring in and this is what I have here now I'm going to start off by covering both dark circles I'm using hard candies glamouflage and this is heavy duty concealer so I'm taking my foundation concealer brush here and you just want to add a tiny bit you really don't need a lot of this stuff it's really good um, it really covers up a lot of imperfections, dark circles, redness, um, you know, those horrible pimples you might get. And I'm um, just, you know, making sure, you want to make sure you blend it in. So I'm taking this liner, liner brush and I'm going to go ahead and start um, adding this to under my eyes here. That's baked by the Naked Palette again. Now with this scandalized mascara, I'm going to apply some to my eyes and also to my lower lashes and I do this prior to adding my eyelashes so here's my eyelash glue I'm gonna go ahead and add some to these uh, previously worn lashes so there's no need to add more mascara to the eyes since I've already worn them so that's the look that I have going on so far you like Okay, so like I said, I'm again using my Glamour Flash Concealer, just adding it to parts where I need it, in dark, you know, darkness, redness. So now I'm taking my wonderful e.l.f. powder brush using my Studio Fix, and I'm in the color MC30. I'm going to move the hair out of the way, and so I'm going to start adding my powder onto my face, evenly eyebrows so here I have this NYX eyebrow pencil here it's in dark brown so what I'm gonna start off by doing here I don't want to go too harsh on my eyebrows it's never the look that I want to go for I just kind of you want to use a very light hand and I'm just trying to you know um, add color where I need it add some shape to my eyebrows but nothing harsh I don't want to end up with you know the chola eyebrows with the don't want to do that so this is what I have going on so far you just slightly want to add a uh, color to your eyebrows and shape also and next I'm gonna start off by using my Mac skin finish bronzer here this is amazing stuff this is something a product a makeup product that I use every day taking this angled brush here it's by Sonia Kashyap and I'm just adding it to the hollows of my cheeks here again I love that's one thing that I, I can't live without this bronzer is really really good 
and just making sure it's all blended in. So next I'm taking this plush red lip liner. It's a not a fancy lip liner, just a regular lip liner I found at my local makeup store. I'm lining my lips. Now when it comes to my lips, I usually don't worry about, you know, as far as the line being even, perfect, because I'm gonna take this lipstick here by Rimmel and this gorgeous 940 Berry Queen. And I'm gonna just blend everything in, so it really doesn't matter when it comes to lip liner, at least for me. And the good thing about this lipstick is it's not only vibrant and beautiful and pretty, but it has this moisturizing feel to it where it's gonna keep your lips moisturized throughout the day. Um, I mean, I use this lipstick very often. It moisturizes, it locks in everything. And um, yeah, you're not gonna have any trouble with you know your lips being, you know, lipstick looking cracked, dry, not at all. So I'm just making sure I've added the color thoroughly to my lips. And at this point, you can, you know, add some more lipstick and make sure that everything is on evenly. Um, like, you know, each side is um, colored evenly and any boo-boos or any mistakes you can just easily correct by adding more lipstick or cleaning off with a Q-tip or something like that. So, that's by Rimmel and that's a lipstick, you know, that I, I, I'm using in this look. Since I kept the eyes very natural, um, again, I did add some eyeliner and some false eyelashes, but I wanted to kick it up a notch and add this gorgeous color. It's vibrant, and I just, I love this look. I love the, the light brown, the baked under my eyes, goldish color. Um, and of course, I'm a red type of lipstick type of girl, and I just had to add this uh, look. So if you are interested in creating this, recreating this look, I can definitely add all the products I used. The eye look was created by the Naked Palette. Again, an amazing palette. You can do so many looks with it. And um, yeah, this is my finished look. Whoops, look. <laughs> okay, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to comment, rate, let me know what you 